Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be doing a review of my top 10 jailbreak tweaks for the iOS 9 Pongu 9 jailbreak. Uh, some of these tweaks are for the older devices only, so the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus aren't included, as well as some of these tweaks too come from other repos, so I'll make sure to include the links in the description below. So jumping right into the very first tweak. So the very first tweak I wanted to show you guys today is Anemonene. And Anemonene is uh, a theme application. It's what you first seen when I came into and uh, was talking to you guys with my themed icons here. It's been updated for iOS 9. It was introduced in iOS 8. And I really um, would suggest this over Winterboard. You can get multiple themes. Most themes work with it. You can see here I have a uh, a few different themes just kind of as an example. You can enable and disable and even kind of customize so you can see here there are alternate options. You can go through select multiple themes. You can even kind of enable and disable play around. Go and hit apply here and it'll show you a preview of the theme so you kind of know what you're getting into before you uh, actually apply it. So it's a really good theming tool. It's free in Cydia. I would definitely suggest getting it. Uh, it's on the stock Big Boss repos. The second jailbreak tweak that I'd like to show you guys is kind of a lame one. Uh, not really in terms of functionality, but lame in terms of new. It's been around since the jailbreaking has really been possible. But it's iFile, and iFile does work like it has in every other version of iOS. So iFile has been um, now working on iOS 9. You guys can get a registered version, um, or you can use the um, ad-supported version. Uh, direct, download directly in Cydia there uh, and yeah so basically it's a file manager for your device it allows you to check go through root modify files edit permissions bookmark you can uh, basically you know do everything a regular file manager would do so it's definitely a jailbreak must for all devices the next jailbreak tweak I want to show you guys is called Lilac. Now Lilac reminds me a lot of UXO2 in a way. It's a modified app switcher but it is updated and working on iOS 9. I can show you guys kind of here. So right away we have the um, UXO feel. When you go through you can actually change all of the animations but essentially they work just like they normally did. Um, and it, even certain jailbreak tweaks work with this, so I really like this kind of layout. Um, being able to swipe up to be in my manager even when you're in an application is really nice. So in the settings, uh, you do get a bunch of settings with this jailbreak tweak as well. So you can change kind of the functionality, the way the app switcher lays out. Um, so there's quite a few um, different options here, so like even in this um, the power down menu is when you swipe this here you actually get all of this so you can change a lot of how this actually works and I really like the functionality of it it's uh, definitely replaced UXO 3 for me or UXO 2 um, in previous jailbreaks and I'm glad to have it in iOS 9 definitely a jailbreak must it is um, I believe $1.99 on the Big Boss repo Another jailbreak must for iOS 9 is Indigo Messages. Now, I've actually achieved this in previous jailbreaks with a Flux 2 or Flux um, hack, and now you can get a free jailbreak tweak called in, um, Incognito Messages. Basically what this does is this hides the iMessage typing um, in um, just for the blue so the recipient can't see that you're typing a message back. You can also set this other option where it'll only send a read receipt upon you beginning to type a new message. So if you like to keep your read receipt on but you don't want it to send right when you get the message versus when you start replying, you can actually set that as well. So it's definitely a really cool jailbreak tweak. Uh, free on the Big Boss repo, one of um, definitely a jailbreak must for everyone. All right, Mikoto. Mikoto is probably one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks, and it's currently in beta right now, but it has now been updated for iOS 9, um, and I have been playing with it quite a bit. It doesn't seem to be causing me any issues. Um, we can think of Mikoto like Springtomize, although it is Springtomize kind of on steroids, where it also includes a lot of favorite applications in the App Store. One of the more popular being the YouTube application, which will give you options like no video advertisements, no age restriction, always high definition quality, which 
be careful this will use more data on um, LTE and then background play so background play is like if you wanted to minimize the application like on the YouTube red or whatever uh, it'll actually do this it works really good there are a lot of other system options as well that I really love with Mikoto um, I should point out this is from Angel X when she is the creator of um, as you guys would know the app sync um, but she has a lot of really cool stuff on her repo. So this isn't a third-party repo. It's actually on a beta repo for iOS 9, iOS 8, and below. I uh, can use the regular um, one on cydia.angelxwin.net. And I'll make sure I include the repo on the bottom here. So Makoto, it adds a lot of uh, different options to um, iOS. No surprise with this jailbreak tweak here. I kind of feel bad throwing it in the list, but it is definitely worth a shout out. No slow animations fixes what Apple for some reason doesn't want to fix. The animation speed in iOS native is a little laggy. I mean, they could speed it up just a little bit to give people the feel of the device being faster. Now, no slow animation is a free jailbreak tweak available on the Big Boss repo that you guys can grab that will speed up your animations. So just like this here, you can speed them up really fast. You can make them almost native to what iOS is, which I believe it's at almost one second. And yeah, I find like for me 40-50% is good. It just requires a respring to swap over and you'll notice the speed instantly. Now, you can also speed it up in the volume up and down, um, the HUD that appears and a lot of other things. So it's, it's really cool. You can see here that now we've sped it up even more. So really neat, definitely worth checking out. All right, next jailbreak tweak for iOS 9 is Reveal Menu. Now, Reveal Menu brings 3D touch features to the older devices. So that's the peak poke feature, the haptic feedback if you have an iPhone and has a vibrate, and um, as well as the enable switcher from the side, peak poke in pictures, and then the extensions. So like you see here on the news app. Now, how this works is basically you don't have to apply pressure. You just can hold the application and in a designated time. If you want to set it up so that you can um, edit your apps, you can press and like swipe down and then that'll give you the um, ability to move them around. It also comes with the peak poke, um, which a lot of the apps did not do. Uh, so you can see here, just as an example, I can actually tap and hold. Now this does attempt to mimic the pressure, so the harder I press, the more surface my finger has on the screen, if I can do this correctly. So you can see there, you can also pull up for the menus. This does work in Safari for like, um, for links and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool add on to any phone. Um, the older devices, which would have the, uh, don't have the force touch ability. So following suit with the force touch tweaks comes shortcut, which is another jailbreak must if you have an iPhone 6s or if you're using a tweak like reveal menu or, um, 4C, which this adds shortcuts to um, the 3D touch that Apple, in my opinion, kind of forgot. So it's a really neat kind of extension. You can see here you get mail or you get the weather, uh, you get um, the settings here, and they'll add a whole bunch more. So you can kind of come in, customize this for the stocks as well. Uh, you can enable the hip or haptic feedback for these as well. Um, for the newer models because they won't actually respond. It's a, a paid jailbreak tweak, 99 cents on the Big Boss repo, definitely worth adding uh, to your 3D touch tweak collection. So CC settings has also been updated and definitely belongs on this list. It is a free jailbreak tweak and it goes by CC settings iOS 8-9 and what this does is gives you custom toggles here in your control center. So you can see here I do have another jailbreak tweak running but it even works with it. Um, this is, uh, yeah, so you can see here all of the different toggles that I have. I can actually configure these. You can also set up where it'll kill off the music. You can disable the control center toggles or the dismiss. And uh, whitelist means so none of these will get cleared when you actually swipe to uh, kill the application using like a little trash can here. And so, yeah, it's just, it's a really nice addition to the control switcher. It gives you a lot of options that, uh, are kind of missing that would be really nice if Apple included. So for my number 10 jailbreak tweak on my top 10 jailbreak tweak list, I definitely wanted to pick Virtual Home. It is my 
favorite tweak of all time. I've been using it since iOS 7 on the iPhone um, 5S when we got the fingerprint scanner. It turns your Touch ID sensor into a virtual home button. What that means is, is I don't actually have to physically push on the button to activate it. I can just touch the ring here. So as you can see, I'll just lightly tap. That's if I actually tapped. That is, so if I actually tap there or if I just lightly tap. So you can add so many different gestures to this too, as you can see in the settings here. Um, for a single tap, I have my home button. The double tap is the standard reachability, which is on iOS 8 and 9. Then I can do a short hold, which would give me my multitasking here. And then I can also do a tap and hold, which I could also set up to be tap and hold. I could set up to be Siri. So there's so many different options. This also saves the life on your home button, which is one of the biggest reasons why I actually want to use this. It's um, definitely saved my home button. It feels still crisp and new just because I jailbroke out of the box and installed uh, Virtual Home directly on my device. So it's been updated for iOS 9, and I definitely would recommend this as a jailbreak must for every device. And there you guys have it. That is my top 10 iOS 9 jailbreak tweaks. I use these tweaks every day on my main driver device. They work hand in hand together, nice and stable. I hope this video has helped you guys discover some new tweaks, reminded you of some old tweaks. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel for more videos to come, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers.